for anybody on my page that doesn't recognize him, I'm gonna pull up your spot right now, dude, and I'm sorry. He is a gold medal winner at the X Games. Can I even say that? Technically. Technically. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, hey, hey. I'm not dealing well with this heat. <laughs> it's hot. Summertime. Summer, summertime. Guys, today is actually a quiet day. I came down to the office to get a little bit of work done. I got some friends here that I'm about to go show off right now, but it is a Sunday. Uh, Mark actually took the day off today to kind of decompress with a lot of things he's got going on, so. It's just, it's just me at the shop, me getting some work done. But guess what? This video is again, sponsored by Skillshare. Thank you, Skillshare, appreciate you. So a quick word from them. Guys, back at it with Skillshare. What is Skillshare though? Skillshare is an online learning opportunity for creatives like me, like a lot of you out there. So for the first thousand people to click the link below in the description or in the comment section gets two months for free using any of the classes that they offer. Me personally, I actually use graphic design. It's great, it's amazing. I'm trying to teach myself more graphic design because I need to make my own graphics for upcoming projects that I'm doing. I wanna get better at photography. If you follow me on Instagram, I have tried to get better at photography. So my next class I'm gonna be doing with Skillshare is a photography class. The best part about it, it doesn't matter your skill level. This is for beginners, pros, masters. It really doesn't matter. I, I feel like I am a intermediate when it comes to graphic design. Guess what? I use Skillshare, I wanna be a pro. That's what I'm talking about. Check out Skillshare, click the link below. First thousand people get a two month premium membership. Think about that, two months. You know how many classes you can take in two months? Click that link below. I got mad here. What's up, man? Nothing. I'm gonna come see your van in a minute. Yeah? Yeah, why not? Sure. Sick, dude. Let's see, Mark's got some vans going on right here. Not really supposed to show them off. Vanessa's van is right here, working on some stuff. Vanessa is one of the media people. So I don't know, I'm tired. It's hot. I get Andy here with me. What's up, Andy? It's hot, man. It's hot. You're nomadic and hotter outside, so I guess we're in cool down mode. It's hot. <laughs> yeah, dude. It is I'm hot. dying. I know, man. This I'm gonna, I wanna go sleep. Can't go to sleep. You got work to be done. Work's to be done. Work to be done. I took him away from cutting a template. That's it looks fine. like. I don't really wanna cut it right now, anyways. It's too hot. All right. Part of the deal here, working for Mark, is uh, you get to use a shop sometimes. Yeah. You know, you guys work out a deal. So we'll use the shop. Andy is vital here at the Nomadic Custom Shop. But anyways, uh, this video is not really about uh, the Nomadic Custom Shop. It's about Andy and his team and what they're doing. What do you got? Yeah, don't do that. He cut his finger. <sighs> What do you got going on, buddy? Basically, we do a webisode series for free skiing. So think like uh, rails and jumps and all that crap. Yeah. 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 Skiing. 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 Not snowboarding. No, no, you don't like snowboarding? No, we do like snowboarding, actually. But you're just not a professional snowboarding team. We're not team. snowboarders. We're skiers. Anyways, uh, so we've been doing this webisode series called Line Shoveling Circus for the last uh, 12 years, actually. Slow it down. Oh, slow it down. Slow it down. Yeah. <laughs> Line traveling circus. Yeah, not flying circus or nitro circus. Or not lime it's line l-i-n-e which i found out yesterday is actually a part of the brand of k2 or something like that yes it's under k2 sports and then this is one of teammates line skis teammate line skis teammate will is back here for anybody on my page that doesn't recognize him i'm gonna pull up your spot right now dude and i'm sorry uh he is a gold medal winner at the x games can i even say that technically technically <laughs> it wasn't literally at the twin slope style or half pipe but it was an unusual event that like I actually kind of like it was like uh like sh what the heck it was like sh yeah, street it's, skiing it's a video contest that lasts about two months and maybe there's six teams and basically you have to film the craziest stuff you can in those two months and you got your film your videographer next door yep yeah so yeah, we're gonna go there. we're gonna go meet I guess the rest of Andy's team and see what they're working on because they're working on a van right now how far along are we uh further than I thought we'd be yeah, you guys actually got a lot done in two days. They were here yesterday. It is a Sunday afternoon now. Uh, they've been here Saturday and Sunday. You drove you drove the van cross country. Yep, Massachusetts to Utah, Portland eventually. You guys want to go check out what they're doing? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah let's go. Out. If we have time, I'd actually like to check out Natalie too, if she's going to let us. Yeah, she's got like, she's actually doing like real work her and the other <laughs> You're not doing real work? Hardly. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Jake Strassman. What's up, Jake? How's it going? He actually has a bronze medal at the X Games for filming. Real street. Oh, really? Yeah, not from Will, though. Our other friend, John Strenia, who lives in Portland, actually. Oh, okay. Who got, who got third in it. This is our van, yeah. Yeah, this is your van. This is this is pretty cool. I mean, so far, uh, you guys got a lot done in two days. This was a bare bones van when I came in yesterday. And you guys already have all the 
freaking panels up. I can't even show the darn insulation. Yeah, well, we still have some of the, what was this? This is a... Uh, oh, there it is right there. Yeah. What is this? Wool. 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 Havelock. Havelock wool. Havelock wool. Uh, Thanks uh, for sheep wool. it up, yo. Oh, yeah, sheep wool. It smelled like a barn in here. It did. It did. But I'm, I'm a big fan of Havelock. I had Havelock in mine, and you guys obviously got Havelock in yours now. Awesome. What are you guys building this out as? Uh, basically, this is going to be like the very like uh, bare bones, just cheapest <laughs> impossible <laughs> build that you could do. Honestly, like we're we're doing a pretty horrible job with it. No, you're in, not. Compared to like what like the actual work that we do at Nomadic is like take a lot of time to build stuff, and it's just like we're like yeah whatever. Uh, it's going to get screwed up anyway. It's just skis, like rails in here, like traveling. Tens and ski boots, like it's holes. very utilitarianism. Yeah, maybe yeah. add a hook or something so we can hang and dry some ski gear. Yeah. yeah. The big big thing was adding the insulation because we're always out in the winter and it's the old van was cold. Yeah. And I'm sweating right now. This thing's holding the heat, so yeah. we're gonna sit right. That's that's awesome. Are you guys um what are you guys gonna use for a heat source? Do you know? Air top or or a Mr. No. Buddy heater? No, like I said, pretty bare bones, just whatever comes out of the You know you can get those like propane Mr. Buddy ones, man. I'm, t I'm telling you, we're going like we anything that's going to be even close to new or nice in here <laughs> is going to get destroyed. It is like 100 percent like that's going to happen. Mr. Buddy is a portable heater. You can literally trash it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't. When you pack 12 dudes into the van, though, you're going to have 12 guys in this van. We'll probably have 12 dudes in here at some point. At some point. <laughs> yeah. I mean, are you setting like, up like a bunk system? No, like sometimes it's just standing room when we're driving around, but oh my uh, God. usually we'll have like five or six people in a van. Are you guys going to take me skiing? Maybe, yeah. Are you going to make fun of me skiing? I would. We're going to have to wait until the winter though, because I'm not going to bring you up on Palmer right now at Hood, because you'd die. I would die. Uh, you wouldn't die, but you would not have a fun time. But yeah, basically we wanted like a cheap build. Like our last van was like, we had bunk beds and stuff in it. And honestly, the best that's ever functioned was when we just gutted it and just had like whatever. So did you, uh, do you have your other van on your, on your YouTube channel? Yeah. yeah. You do. It's, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's actually, yeah. Check out line traveling circus on Instagram, kind of like cover photo for a page or Instagram pages, our old van yeah. stuck in the salt flats. By the way, if you ever go to the salt flats, uh, yeah, be sure it's dry. Yeah. Oh, because it can yeah, get we, soft and yeah. you can get stuck like you guys did. We got stuck. Okay, yeah. good to know. It was like 700 right here bucks to get out. Yeah. I mean, this is it, man. Uh, yeah, 159 Pro Master, I think. Do you have any layout ideas whatsoever you guys are going to do? I think the only, honestly, the only thing I think we're going to do is build like a box right here so we can put skis uh, vertically instead of laying them down horizontally. Like a lot of people would have like a bed here. You just lay your skis and put them under. We need this space for just junk and rails. Okay. So I think the best thing to do is just because sometimes we'll have like 12 pairs of skis and there'll be like five of us in here for some reason, so. Is there yeah. anybody going to be sleeping in this? Not full time, but. Uh, not full time, no, but they've been sleeping in the last couple nights. They pretty much just set up like two cots. I think that's one cool thing about the Pro Master. That's why Will. Super wide, yeah. Pick this was, it's, he's, Will's six foot one or something. And you can easily just sleep across, which I think is like a pretty, like pretty big thing. I think we're going to get a seat in here. Did you cut that template, bro? Uh, one of them. Yeah. Or the, did you cut the panel? Oh, there you go. I, I was wondering what you were doing that with. That'll yeah. go. That's right. Yeah, make another one. And we'll be good. But I mean, dude, as you can see, like we're we didn't put like many furring strips in. Like we put many? these in. <laughs> we put a couple in. Okay. Uh, basically, if Mark saw this, he'd probably have a heart attack. So. Uh, yeah. Um, maybe. I'm okay because I love it. Pretty much, if you guys want to do a cheap build, turn into uh, these guys because you're going to be documenting this whole thing. We're on a budget all the time. Very much. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Life. Life budget. Mm -hmm. Very much so. But uh, do you want? Do you have any idea what your total cost is going to be, give or take? For the build? The build. Not the van? Not the van itself. Well, actually, did you pick up the van cheap? Will, how much was the van? $25,300. Okay, yeah. that's what he said? Yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. Um, so, 25300 The Taren lights, man. They're actually being held up with uh, duct tape. Yeah, of course they are. Why, you know, why wouldn't you guys have anything less? <laughs> yeah. So, twenty five. And then, like, what are we, 100 and... 100 bucks today in wood. Well, well, the total build will be. We'll say we're at 400 and something. Yep. Pre wood. Well, okay. And then, are you doing a power system in this thing? No. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Andy, I freaking love you, man. Yeah, this is. We're going. <laughs> so, I mean, you're going to. I mean, that's the biggest expense on typical builds is that power system. Yeah. If you can run a few thousand bucks on those, but. It'd be nice to get like a small, like, Go, Go Zero or some sort of battery just. Because people are always charging phones. And yeah. As you can see, this is where our window's going to go. Yeah, I was wondering uh, what that big uh, window uh, yeah. word was. Well, it's, it's where it's going to no, go there done. eventually. Yeah. That's that's it's there. Done. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. the window. You guys yeah. just painted white after the fact. We're going to, well, we're actually going to like maybe do like a, 
you know, I'll paint like a meadow or something out here. Yeah. Like a frame of a window. There you go. So it'll look like a window, but it's not an actual window. Yeah. We actually, I think we're, we've been van life for like, um, I don't know, better part of eight years now through uh, Canada nah. Circus. Can we come see your boss? Maybe next weekend. Oh. She's actually doing a good job. Really. She's doing a great job. I mean, that's a huge bus too. Right? It is a big, big old bus. Well, we'll show, um, we're going to show Matt off right now and kind of see what he's yeah. up to. If you want some uh, contrast, you know, a yin and a yang, the yeah. completely different dichotomy of what we're doing. Matt is the one to, uh, yeah, show off with it. Well, thanks again, guys. Uh, yeah. Lime traveling, well, lime. lime, lime traveling circus. You haven't even watched one of our episodes yet. I haven't, have you I? watched one of your stupid <laughs> things today. <laughs> And you haven't watched one of our episodes yet, man. Let's check back in like a, a week before Will leaves with the van. We'll see how much farther we got. But. All right, we can do that. Matt, I'm coming in. All right, guys. You're going to hear some noise from a fan because it's hot, like I've been saying. Did I just walk all over it? Uh, yes. Is that okay? Let me move. Guys, I just stepped on his floor. I now feel like, um, like an idiot. Do you see any visible cracks? Negative. He just grouted the whole floor. It's been a few hours, so I think it should be okay. These guys did not park very proficiently. Just say hey, buddy. Hello. Hey, buddy. What's up, dude? <laughs> Seeing what you're up to. This is Matt's whole van uh, with his uh, girlfriend, Savannah. Yeah, it looks great, man. I yeah. can't wait to do a tour when it's done. What do you think? Dude, I am so ready for this to be done. <laughs> 18 months. Looking like you're working on some wiring. That looks like fun. I'll leave you to it. I can't uh, see the screw that I'm trying to unscrew. That's Sounds called like... van life right yeah, there, buddy. All right, you guys can see he has a platform bed uh, up the front there. They had a L bench area. Was, let's go back up there and I'll show you guys what's going on up there. So it's pretty cool. They've got a dinette or a galley. Upper cabinets. This is a L bench. It's really nice and comfortable. They both open up, and the entire bed is in the back. What year is this? 2006. Five. 2005. It's a T1N, the Sprinter. Matt, you did a great job, man. Cedar, uh, cedar paneling on the ceiling. Yeah. I can't wait to see this. Uh, this is on the home stretch, man. Get it done. I completely forgot. Matt asked me for. By the way, this is a huge hack for everybody out there. The electric, like, like uh, meat cutting knife or turkey cutting knife. I have one and I, apparently nobody at the shop has one. And Matt asked me for that knife earlier and I completely forgot to give it to him. So I'm gonna go get him that knife out of my tool chest. It is an electronic, electric cutting knife, whatever. And we use it to cut mattresses or any type of foam. It just, it cuts it like butter. So I'm gonna go get that for him now. Good luck, Andy. With just You cut that bed. With life. Oh my goodness. Oh, by the way, this video, uh, again, thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring the video. Oh, yo, Skillshare. We more famous than Jared. Not really. Just trying to make it on that next rail, the next grind, the next gold medal. See you guys next time. Later.